you need to stop doing that right now. That's the one thing I can tell you. If you're getting thumb pain by playing a saxophone, you're holding your saxophone wrong and we need to fix it as soon as possible. It's a big mistake. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Dan Christian and today we're going to be making sure that you're holding your saxophone correctly, that you're not doing any damage to your joints in your thumb or that you're holding the saxophone in any way that may slow you down, ruin your technique or make any tension in your throat to ruin your sound. So the first thing we want to be making sure of is that we've got the right neck strap for the job. You can get short, medium and long neck straps so make sure that your neck strap is the right length for you. The right length for you is a neck strap that you can adjust that allows the saxophone to sit. So it just scrapes the top lip. So you see that there, I'm just going into the camera a little bit. So it scrapes my top lip and then sits in my mouth. I'm not having to chase the saxophone around, I'm not leaning forwards, and likewise it's not too high that it's you know poking me in the eye or something. I want to make sure that the saxophone is a good height so that it's just sitting. And that's whether I'm sitting down here, it's at the side of me. I'm going to make sure that that's even if I'm holding the saxophone at the side, it's still scraping my top lip there. Or if it's in the center, it's still scraping my top lip there. So those are the first few things that I'm making sure that the saxophone is definitely at the right height. Once it's at the right height, I want to make sure that the saxophone is at the right angle. So if you see at the minute, if I pull the sax into my body with my hands, I'm using my hands there, and I'm just pulling the sax into my body, can you see that the, the crook is actually to the side? That's not ideal. I'm not gonna chase the sax around again. I'm gonna adjust this and put it into the central position so that it's sitting, again, it's just square my top lip, and it's sitting square with my jaw. So do we see there how it's sitting square on my jaw? I'm not moving to the side to adjust, my head's not having to move, I'm not having to adjust my arms. I see a lot of people messing around with their shoulders to try and get into the right place. There's absolutely no need to do that. The neck strap and the saxophone adjusting to with this little screw here is going to allow you to do that. There. So now that's in a good position for me. So. The neck strap is at the right height, the crook is adjusted so that it's straight and now what I'm going to do is the thing I've been talking about in the video is make sure that my hands are in the right positions here. Now there's something very misleading about saxophones and that is that most of them have a thumb hook like this for the right hand and what we think is when we see this thumb hook is that I should probably be putting my thumb under here. Now this is really bad, we should never really be sticking our thumbs right under here like this. It's uncomfortable, it strains out my joint, can you see that? Look at this, if I put my hand in there, do you see how that thumb rest there is really working that joint, it's pushing right in my thumb and it's taking my thumb away. I don't want that at all. I wanna make sure that never really happens. So, if you look at my tax here, if you can see really closely, do you see where the lacquer's come off? You see here, see where the lacquer has come off my saxophone? That's from years of my thumb been sat on that screw. So that's actually where my right hand is going. So if you watch my fundamentals course in Satscast, you'll know that I've always recommended the hand be nice and relaxed, that it's actually just hanging at the side nice and loose. Well, I'm taking that relaxed hand shape and I'm gonna put my thumb in this kind of C shape with this little hole. I've got a gap of rounded fingers that are just natural there. I'm going round the sacks like this. They're going on to one, two, and three, like they would be, like we, we all have been taught to do. But my thumb, is going on the screw. It's going on the top of the screw and there's an important reason for that and I'll tell you that why in a second. So it's not under there, it's not right on the top of the screw, on top of the thumb rest there, it's sat on the screw, that's so important. So that's what I'm, going, that's what I'm aiming for. So we'll sit that on that thumb just for now. So my thumb, my right hand thumb is sat on that screw. If you haven't got a screw like that, just make sure it's you've got a little bit of pressure with the flat part of your thumb, nice and flat, nice and relaxed, pushing against the bottom of the sax. The left hand, again, relaxed position. I'm dropping my fingers so they're just like this. I've got this nice rounded natural curve. I'm gonna come round the sax. My thumb is pretty much at two o'clock there. And again, if you just look at my sax, can you see where the lacquer has worn off? This is where my thumb has been sat for the past 20, 20 years? Yeah, 20 years, longer, 24 years. So it sits just there, about two o'clock. That allows my hand to be supernatural to see if you look down this way. 
Can you see how my thumbs, my hands nice and relaxed? It's that same relaxed hand position, relaxed shape. I'm not ligging around, I'm not anchoring my wrist, I'm not doing any, any kind of craziness with lifting it up or down. I'm just letting it sit there, nice and relaxed. That's literally what I'm doing, sitting in nice and relaxed. My thumbs at two o'clock, everything's relaxed. This is all natural. I've got a straight line between my fingers and my elbow. I'm not raising it up like this. I mean, I do for some notes and things when I go up the top, but mostly my, th my hand is in a nice natural neutral position. That neutral position allows all this to relax and makes my throat relax, which is exactly what we want. This hand is the same, that my arm, my elbow, I've got a straight line from my wrist to my elbow. Relaxed. My body is neutral. I'm stood a bit, I'm, I'm stood up, I'm shoulder width apart. Now, this is the key. So this is the thing I've been talking about all video, well, wanting to come to all video, is that when I'm holding the saxophone, if I push a little bit down, I have much more pivot between my neck at the moment is taking, if you've got a harness, that's the same, but this is actually taking a lot of the weight of the saxophone. If I push away with my right hand, I'm actually just pushing down ever so slightly with that right hand. So I need the tiniest, tiniest bit of pressure in my left hand, and I'm pushing away, or pushing down, just downwards a little bit with that right hand. And that's what keeps the saxophone in my body. When I do this and I push down just that little bit, push away, tiniest, tiniest bit, that's what keeps the balance. So there, I'm literally holding the sax with my thumbs. I'm not lifting, None, neither this left hand or my right hand should feel like we're lifting or taking the weight of the saxophone. There. So I'm actually just pushing it away. That way, should be avoiding all of those keys, and as I push it away, there. And on alto sax, the sax is very much in the center of my body. Now, there's a guard on the bottom of the sax here. See this guard here? This is going to sit in my hip. That is going to sit there. So I'm so short. It's literally sitting in my hip. So that's allowing me to literally take this hand away and not even hold it. I'm not even holding the sax there, but it's staying in exactly the same position. So in theory, I could be doing the Leo P thing and giving it a bit of this or whatever he does. You know what I mean? But the sax, that sax guard is sat in my hip, right in there. So literally just here in my hip. Sat there holding still. That way, I'm using my body to hold most of the, sa the weight of the saxophone. I'm not using my neck. I'm not gonna have any neck ache or neck problems because it's sat in my body. I'm using the right hand thumb to pull it almost into my body and the left hand thumb to balance it out. It takes a little bit of practice that to get used to, but you should never feel like there's any strain on this thumb. If you put your thumb under here, it's gonna start hurting. You're gonna get thumb pain. It's just gonna hurt and be nasty. So we just wanna make sure that we're always holding it away. And if you're getting any thumb pain, you need to stop doing that right now. That's the one thing I can tell you. If you're getting thumb pain by playing your saxophone, you're holding your saxophone wrong and we need to fix it as soon as possible. It's a big mistake. So you're pushing that down. Nice and comfortable, it's in me. My shoulders are square. I'm nice and even. Job's a good one. Right, so I'm gonna change the camera angle so you can see what it's like when we sit down. So when I'm playing sat down, I'm actually on a stool at the moment. Move over here a little bit. I like to play alto, sort of sat in, I'm, I'm literally sitting it again in my hip and it's sat on my hip there. I've adjusted the mouth, the, I've adjusted the mouthpiece and the crook so that it's at the right angle for me and it's sat in my hip. There you go. And pretty much there, there's even less, at this point, there's even less weight. My thumbs don't even hardly come into it at all. They're, they're providing the tiniest, this left hand is pulling down, the tiniest, tiny, I mean, it's, it's hardly there at all. And the right hand again is sat on that screw, on that bolt again, just sat down there and I'm holding it. So that's one way, that's option one of holding how you can hold your saxophone when it's sat in the middle. Some people don't find this comfortable. So if I don't find that comfortable and I want to sit at the side, so with tenor sax, for example, you might find that you would you, if you'd like me to do, um, and I've got a Barry, ta Barry sax and a um, tenor sax here as well. If you'd like me to do a tutorial on holding it on either of those instruments specifically for you, you let me know. But 
the principles in this kind of apply to both axes. So instead this time, what I'm going to do is, if I want to hold this axe at the side of me, I'm going to arch to the right just a little bit. So if there's any chair seats or anything, because sometimes if you play, especially at school bands and stuff like that. I mean, actually, watch, look at this. Look at this, I'll show you something. You see all these scratches there? Look at this. I don't know if you can see them in the camera. Do you see all these scratches? But they're all from being sat in school bands, in bands and things, and in um, pit bands and all sorts of things, when they give you some sort of like plastic chair and you're sat central and you're at the side and you're scraping it. So to stop you scraping your instrument and making a mess of it like I have, arch yourself to the right so that you're avoiding whatever's to the right, right hand side of you there. Right, so I'm going to adjust my strap so that it's nice and high. Again, it should only just scrape my top lip. So I feel like I can be stri I'm square at the shoulders here. And this time my pressure's changing slightly. So I'm still holding onto that screw, that screw that's holding the thumb rest in, the right hand thumb rest, but I'm going to push it, kind of pull a little bit into my body. So again, I'm using my body as the pivot. I'm not lifting the sacks up. I'm literally pushing the, the sacks against my body. The body of the sacks against the body of you. And the left hand is sort of counterbalancing. You might find that if it's wanting to go off to the side, like mine is here, again, I'm gonna adjust this. And you might also find that you have to adjust your mouthpiece so that it's level. But there you go. So that's absolutely fine. And this, and it should feel pretty rigid, like it's not going anywhere. The minute I counterbalance with my thumb against the pivot point of the neck strap here, that doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. And if I sit up tall, it doesn't feel like there's any weight of the actual sacks on my body. So everyone, thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you found it useful and I hope it fixed any problems that you might be having with your thumb and holding the saxophone in an incorrect position. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and share it and definitely put a comment down below. How do you hold your saxophone? Is it, are you holding it in a different way to what I am? Has there been any issues that you've been having that this might fix? Let me know in the comments below. Also, what would you like me to cover in future videos? Always, you know, always looking for inspiration. Please put them down. I hope you've been enjoying Sarah's videos, all that kind of thing. Thanks so much for watching everybody and I shall see you in the next tutorial. Happy saxing, bye guys.